Panama is one of the wettest countries on Earth. So how can the Panama Canal be running out of water? In parts of Panama, it rains over 200 days a year. But in recent years, the country has also experienced unprecedented drought. What we're experiencing in Panama is exactly the sort of thing that many global climate change models have been predicting, and that's an increase in extreme events. In the 140 years that the Panama Canal Authority has been measuring rainfall, in the last 21 years, we've seen eight of the 10 greatest storms but at the same time, we've had the three year-on-year -year driest years ever. So we're, we're seeing this real increase in extreme events that simply we've never seen. That's a problem for a number of reasons. One of them is that an estimated 40% of Panama's economic activity relies on money brought in from the Panama Canal. And the Panama Canal needs water to function. Lots of water. Okay, the Panama Canal works with fresh water, so rainfall for us is very important, uh, and water storage for that matter. The canal links the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean and functions as a kind of water elevator. Ships enter a series of chambers, and at each step, the chamber gets pumped full of millions of gallons of water that lift the vessels into the next chamber. When unprecedented droughts hit, the canal was forced to restrict what's known as the draft, the depth at which ships sit as they cross the waterway. The more cargo a ship carries, the greater draft it needs, meaning some ships weren't able to pass through fully loaded. Water was so abundant that it, it was not on top of mind until recent years when we saw the, the changes of the rainfall patterns. We had drier years closer, so that forced us to, to think differently. You know, when scarcity is the the mother of invention. In 2016, Ilya oversaw the canal's biggest expansion yet and built new water-saving basins for storage. But there weren't enough to make up for declining water supplies. This is a daily thing, you know, we monitor the lake levels daily, we monitor the rainfall daily. We put together a plan for the next two weeks, how much water do we need to save. But the canal is not the only issue. The main sources of water that supply the canal also supply half of Panama's population with drinking water. The challenge that the Panama Canal Authority has is to provide enough water for its business and at the same time provide sufficient drinking water for the million plus people who depend on the Panama Canal watershed for the drinking water, both in terms of not having too much because that would be um, a disaster for the system if we had too much and it overflew the dam, but at the same time, you also have to protect against having too little water, so that it's this very delicate um, balancing act that they have to have. Already access to drinking water is a challenge across Panama, particularly in mountainous areas where infrastructure is lacking. Desde las 5 de la mañana de este jueves, residentes de diversas comunidades del corregimiento de Chilibre cerraron la vía transísmica en varios puntos para pedir una solución a la falta de agua. No me he bañado, sinceramente no me he bañado. Bueno, no sé a qué hora me baño porque no hay agua. Esto no me llega a mí en ocho días. Yo soy feliz si me llegara eso a mí. ¿eh? Ellos pedían la presencia de la autoridad del Canal de Panamá para que les explicara por qué no contaban con el suministro de agua potable. Ellos aseguran que desde... Bartolo Herrera lives in the community of Cerro Peñón, about 40 minutes from Panama City. The area's 5,000 inhabitants have been without continuous access to drinking water since the 90s. Para nosotros es un anhelo tenerla porque eh, en este momento es muy costoso para nosotros conseguir el agua potable en comunidades circundantes del Peñón. Pues, ¿no? The community used to be serviced by an aqueduct, but in 2005, a private owner sold the land it was built on. To purchase drinking water, Bartolo must now drive to the closest town. Lo abastecemos de dos maneras. Una para ingerir, que la buscamos en Ciudad Bolívar, con familiares, traemos garrafones cada 15 días, y la otra para otros quehaceres de la casa, para el inodoro, el baño, utilizamos pues un, un pozo natural que tenemos acá. Sí, este, este es el agua de que viene del, del pozo, de aquí donante del acueducto, mira la presión que tiene. While these particular water shortages are tied to a lack of infrastructure and not directly caused by the canal's activities, the paradox of Bartolo's situation is that Cerro Panion has lots of water, water that feeds the Panama Canal. 
The rainwater, which drains off its hillsides, feeds the Gatun Reservoir, which provides water to the canal. And Bartolo and his community make sure the area is forested, so the watershed remains stable. Si es un balance delicado, claro que sí. Muy bien porque la, la distribución del agua no es equitativa, no es justa. Es la empresa más rentable del país. Sin embargo, el entorno del canal está una gran cantidad de comunidades in pobreza y pobreza extrema, ¿no? So how does Panama solve its water problem, both for the canal and its people? The canal authorities are pursuing a two-pronged approach. The first is to develop better storage options. Precisely to be able to store some of that water that eventually goes into the ocean. If we have no storage capacity, we need to spill. The second is to find new sources of water. Marotta and her team are seeking bidders for a $2 billion project looking to do exactly that. The project is likely to combine approaches like reusing wastewater and perhaps desalination. We make sure we balance that all the needs are met. While we finish our new uh, water projects, that will be able to kind of give us that uh, assurance that we will have enough water for the future years. The future will be more relaxed, more like before, but it, it's a delicate process in the sense that we need to be very aware of it and we monitor all the time. Simplemente buscamos que se nos escuche y se haga justicia, ¿no? Porque estamos completamente eh, conscientes de que no podemos perder el canal. Es un compromiso como panameño, es un compromiso a nivel universal de cuidar este, esta tierra única, esta tierra madre, donde nos da el sustento a todos.